Okay, let's go over some of the features on the screen here. This, um, it's not super complicated, uh, and Honda has actually put a lot of buttons down here, um, hard buttons that you can actually click on. So you have your phone, your radio, media, so this will be, um, you know, your, uh, if, if you have your phone connected by, via Bluetooth, and you can play music through there. And then this connect would be like if you want to use your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Your back and your menu buttons and in your forward and back and your volume control here. The menu button here, you can actually control quite a bit of stuff. And you can just use the wheel here to scroll through. Kind of handy. It is still touchscreen, so you can move it as well. Um, I like that they give you both options. This does work well if you do wish to use that. The touchscreen also works quite well. <clears throat> if we go up to the top here and Bluetooth settings is where you would go to connect new device. And it will give you some step-by-step -step directions. You want to make sure that your Bluetooth is turned on and search. And you'll click that. Or you can search from your phone. You could go between both of these to search. Typically, once you get to this screen and on your phone, if you just search for your Bluetooth connection, um, it will pop this one up. It'll probably say like, uh, oh, it says right here, Honda Civic. It may just have a generic ID, but once you click on it, it will then change to Honda Civic. That way you know that you've got the right one paired. It's pretty easy to connect from there. I may do a screenshot while I'm doing it here. Uh, that way you can actually see it. <clears throat> So to connect your Bluetooth on your phone, you'll drag down from the top and then you'll long press on the Bluetooth icon or on an iPhone, you will just scroll down to like, I think it's the fourth option and click on Bluetooth. <clears throat> then you'll scroll to the bottom of your list and you'll choose the Honda Civic. You click on that. And now it says, do you want to pair? I will pair here just to show you. <clears throat> Now, if you scroll up to the very top, it tells you at the very top that Honda Civic is uh, connected. And you'll want to allow access to contacts. <clears throat> and it may ask you one more prompt for messages. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. But after that, your phone is now connected via Bluetooth to the car. After it's connected, you can see here it says connect new device, change device. So if you do a connect a new device, you can have multiple here and you can just select which one that you want to have paired. You have your back button here, <clears throat> priority device. What this will do will make that phone that you have selected the priority. So if you get in the car, say with two or even three phones that want to pair, it will choose the priority one to make the active phone on the screen. Uh, I like that they give you this option. That way, um, it, the, the main driver can always be the one pairing, for instance, if you're always getting in with a couple people. And then you can select, if you wanna do multiple phones, you can have one for phone, one for audio. You can choose that if you go into the settings here. <clears throat> you can disconnect all devices to delete devices. I'll just delete mine because you don't need my phone and now it is gone from the car system here. <clears throat> Very good. Back to radio. <clears throat> now, something else that you can do, you can swipe through here. If you want to save a specific radio station, just press and hold. And if you heard that little bitty beep, it's kind of quiet, but then that will save that specific spot as the preset for that station. <clears throat> Okay, I wanted to show you one more feature. Um, if you plug your phone in here, and then you plug this into your phone, here's what it looks like when you connect your phone for Android Audio. When your phone is plugged in, it'll pop up, it'll say charging. Uh, you'll also get this notification you see at the top of your screen, Android Auto connected to your car. Uh, because I'm doing a screen recording, it's not popping up, but it should pop up 
uh, with an indication. Let's see if it will if I say enable. There we go. So now it's saying uh, it's trying to connect here and then you'll continue on the main screen on the car. <clears throat> now it says it's connected uh, on the car screen and there's nothing more popping up on my phone. All right, so connecting for Android Auto is pretty simple. Just plug your phone in down here and then you'll plug it into your phone. Now make sure you use a, a data phone cord. They do recommend you use um, the manufacturer supplied phone uh, cord. On the main screen, then you'll hit yes, you wanna enable. And this is the same for uh, Apple CarPlay as well. And let's see, no notifications popped up here. But then this is the main screen that you'll get on Android Auto. And then you can also select uh, Google Maps or what other maps you wanna use. But that's pretty simple and easy to use for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as well.